Let's talk about copyright or metadata. Everyone wants to do a Google search to find pictures, right? It's easy, super simple. So I'm just going to look up the word images and click on one of these pictures. So looking at this picture, I can see it says image may be subject to copyright. If I look at some more image may be subject to copyright. So most of the pictures that you're finding on Google are subject to copyright. You really do not want to be using these for your your content that you're creating. But there's a really quick way to filter out these results. So there's this button that says tools right under your search panel. And then usage rights, if we click Creative Commons, now we can see pictures that have been filtered out appropriately. So this one says license details. Let's click license details and see what it says. This says no copyright. So we could have used that image completely on our own. Let's look at another one license details. This one says no copyright, public domain. So public domain means it has been released to the public. So it can be, it cannot be owned by anyone, um, but it can be used by everyone. So it's a really cool thing about public domain. Now I already went through and looked up a few other ones for you guys to show you what it might say. This one says attribution and share alike. And these are the little icons that each of these mean. Attribution is this little guy right here. So there's a person he wants you to, or she wants you to give them credit for this work. So you can use the image, but you have to attribute um, the person that created it. And then this little share a like button, it says share, you can copy, redistribute the material in any medium or format. So you can continue to share it. If you remix, transform, or build upon this material, you must distribute the contributions under the same license as the original. So this means if you use this picture, you have to continue to share it so that other people can continue to use it. So you really want to think about that before you use this image. Do you want to do that? What is the purpose of what you're creating? Um, let's look at another one. This one says, again, we have that attribution sign and then just gener generic creative commons. And then I add one more. And this is just a, another option for public domain, which means everybody can use it. No one can own it. So there's a few different types of copyright ideas, but that's a really quick way to make sure you're getting customized, easily copy, copyright free or royalty free images using a quick Google search.